And good morning. It is Thursday, April 13th. I'm Mike Tissell, and let's take a look at the top stories that we're looking at today. Police searching for the gunman that shot and killed a Stockton area high school student. The shooting happened just after 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon at Unity Park, close to Cesar Chavez High School. Now, Stockton police say a 17 year old junior at the school died at the hospital after being shot. Another junior at the school was also beaten, but that student is expected to be okay. Counselors are going to be available for the rest of the week at the high school. California is part of a multi-state settlement with electronic uh, cigarette maker Juul. The settlement alleges Juul violated state laws by targeting young people through its advertising and promotional campaigns. The state going to be getting $175 million from the settlement. The money will help uh, the California fund research, education and enforcement efforts related to e-cigarettes. An effort to help kids learn how to eat healthier also got a boost in Sacramento. More than a million dollars in federal funding is going to support the Food Literacy Center. The money will help pay for a new student farm and garden and will support the food literacy program that is already helping thousands of kids learn about the importance of nutrition. Let's get a first look at your Thursday weather with Dirk Verdor. Good morning, Dirk. Well, that's looking great outside right now, but we do have the north wind that we're feeling this morning. Uh, again, just viewing it, we have clear skies. It's going to be a cool start this morning, and look at the winds. We have sustained winds anywhere from 12 to 22 miles per hour running right down the center of the valley, and with that also come some gusts. We have gusts up over 30 miles per hour in Yuba City, 28 mile an hour gusts in Sacramento, and 26 mile an hour gusts this morning in Stockton. What's driving this? Well, we have that flow coming in from the north again coming over this ridge of high pressure that's going to be moving in over the next couple of days but that north breeze is going to be with us as we head through today and then taper off as we go into tomorrow making for a warmer weekend and then another cool down in store we'll have all that coming up now back over to you and that's what we're following here on kcra3 today